What's up, everyone? Welcome once again to my look at the Final Fantasy Mainline's uh, series. Uh, today we are looking at Final Fantasy XII. Now, this was a game uh, that did not work for me right off the bat. As far as working, I mean, that I mean, as far as liking, because when this game came out, I admittedly hadn't really uh, done a whole lot of uh, different types of games. So, when this one's unique combat system, unique to Final Fantasy, dropped, I did not like it. But we'll get into that here in one quick sec. Uh, released on PlayStation 2 in, on March 16th of 2006. And for me, this was a, you know, obviously a new Final Fantasy is always a big deal. And coming off the heels of 10 and 10 too, and granted, as we, if you watched the last video, I didn't really play 11 much. Like, we're going back to the, uh, you know, the consoles. We're coming back to what I thought was going to be traditional Final Fantasy. And while you do get a lot of traditional Final Fantasy in this, you got a whole different kind of concept of the, uh, the combat system. And that's what really threw me off. Now, like, the story, of course, is about Van and his joining of the Rebellion and to help uh, take back the kingdom from the evil empire. And yes, I'm going ahead and I'm using those terms to kind of get this also out the way. Uh, this is not Star Wars. I've heard several people talk about how it's, it's, it's Star Wars. You know, like Van is Luke, Ash is... Fuck if I know. I think it starts falling apart there. But we have Bal Balthazar and France will be Han Solo and Chewie. I don't see it. There's some similarity, but th but that tale is told on a many things. So I'm gonna get that out of the way now. I don't buy it. <laughs> and uh, what we do have though is, you know, the princess Ash. Well, I guess a who actually it's hitting me who she's supposed to be Leia. But whatever. Fuck it. This is not what I'm worried about. <laughs> But Van is kind of like our eyes into uh, the story of Ash uh, trying to get back her kingdom back. In away from the evil Emperor Gramus. Uh, but basically it is, yeah, it's it's a rebellion versus the Empire story uh, with real-time combat. Uh, this is similar to games I would later play after this came out. Because when this came out, I did not like it. I didn't understand it. I didn't like the characters. Van... Like, you know, Titus was a little annoying, and 10, Van amps that up to me, and to this day, I'm still not one of, them, one of my favorites. But, with combat being done in real time, with uh, you controlling one character and setting up gambits, as they're called in this, uh, your computer will control and do the actions you program for your team, with you being able to switch when you want to, to see if you want to control them. But, I did not get it. I, I, I got to the first combat scenarios. Actually, I got I, outside the city. The first time you really start getting out and exploring the world. And by that point, I was done with it. So I took my Steel Case Special Edition with the making of DVD, I think it was, or maybe a soundtrack that came with it, and I, I shelved it. I shelved it for years. <laughs> and uh, then down the line through, you know, trying to get new consoles and meet, you know, playing with new friends and stuff, I started discovering a, a certain brand of games called from a company called Bioware, which I think I will eventually, that will be another series. I'll just do like Bioware games, probably down the line, but more on that later when I decide to actually do it. But playing Dragon Age, which I really fell in love with, it, and eventually playing like Knights of the Old Republic and Mass Effect to an extent, and then I was like, I had forgotten about 12. I put it to the shelf, never looked at it again. And uh, playing Dragon Age, I'm, and I'm online, and I read a, a little thing where someone was like, you know, this is uh, Final Fantasy 12 and Dragon Age play very similar. And I was like, holy shit, I think they're right. So I cracked open my uh, PS2 again, and I played and beat the game. It's still very fun. It's not one I've played a ton, but it's one I, once I understood the combat, I had a lot of fun. I've got the updated, like, Switch version, and I need to go back through, because I know they really revamped a lot of that with the combat system, the Gambit system. So, yeah, this is one I'd recommend. This is one I would tell you, if you haven't given it a try, and you're not a fan of Final Fantasy's traditional turn-based combat, check this one out. 
And yeah, maybe if you like Star Wars, if that if, if that's just what you want to do. <laughs> Regardless, check this one out. Thank y'all for tuning in. This has been yet another review for Final Fantasy. If you like what you heard, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, stay tuned for man. We got the next trilogy, and it's not a strong one for me. <laughs> More on that later. Catch y'all later. Bye.